harder you work, the faster you'll go. Or will you? That isn't actually true when it comes to swimming. So if you're a swimmer who just doesn't get faster despite trying harder, it could be that you're trying too hard. Swimming is a technique sport. We say that a lot on our videos because it bears repeating. It's easy to see swimming in the same vein as other endurance sports like cycling and running. And in cycling and running, the more effort you put in, the faster you will go. So the training is all about improving your ability to sustain that effort. But with swimming, there's more of a bell curve. As you put in more effort, your speed will increase up until a point and then your speed will not increase any further despite more effort, or even worse, your speed may decrease. So what is happening? And how do you find that point that you start losing efficiency? And most importantly, how do you improve your top speed? Now it's worth pointing out that we're talking about speed over a specific distance here, such as 750 meters for your sprint triathlon. Your speed over 25 meters will kind of increase linearly with more effort. Your efficiency will decrease over that 25 meter sprint, but if it's only 25 meters long, you can generally overcome that with just raw power. First, let's try and demonstrate what is happening because understanding this is half the battle. Now I've got a paddle here, and if I move my hand through the water, as you would when you're swimming, you push the water back, which obviously creates that propulsion that moves you forward. Now logic says that if I move my hand faster, I move more water back, and I'll go faster forward. And that is true, up until a point. But over a certain point, as I move my hand really fast, what happens is all you create is a wave going in every direction. And it's not actually pushing you forward anymore. The faster your hand goes, the higher your heart rate's gonna be, the more energy you're expending, but it's not actually gonna make you go any faster. The slower hand movement will actually move the optimal amount of water to move you through the water. Obviously, up until a point, if you get too slow, that's just gonna be a leisurely paddle and you're not gonna go very fast at all. Now, the paddle is just to demonstrate, but the same thing is happening when you're swimming with just your hand. As you get over a certain point, all you're doing with that hand moving really fast is splashing water everywhere in every direction and wasting energy. So how do you find what stroke rate is optimal for you? Now this requires a bit of trial and error and it will depend on your technique and your skill level. What you can do is multiple reps of the same distance using different stroke rates and see which gives you the fastest time, obviously using the same effort level. Once you have an idea of the stroke rate that is optimal for you, you can then start dialing that in in training and getting used to that rhythm so that in race day, you can turn to that rhythm and know that it's the most efficient and not run away with yourself in the heat of racing and do a far faster stroke and just waste that energy. The obvious question then is how do you go faster? And we're assuming you do want to go faster over your race distance if more effort isn't going to equal you going faster. The answer is you can do this in two ways. Either you can improve your conditioning so you can maintain a higher effort level, compensate for that lower efficiency at the higher speed so you can maintain it. And how you do this? is pretty simple. More effort, more reps, more swimming, and getting stronger and fitter. But obviously that's only gonna get you so far. The much more preferable solution is to get more efficient and have a better technique so that more effort does translate to more speed. You need to learn to swim well with good technique. The best distance swimmers swim incredibly fast over the distance, but with pretty slow, almost leisurely arm movements. This is because with each stroke, they're incredibly efficient, moving a lot of water and also minimizing their drag. To build your technique, you need to focus on every aspect of the stroke, break it down and work on one part and then build it back together. The catch, which can be worked on using drills such as sculling, single arm swimming and catch up. The pull from the catch until your hand exits the water, which can be worked on using single arm swimming, fist swimming or paddles. And the recovery, which probably needs to be seen by watching videos of your swim and can be worked on using drills such as fingertip drag, the shark fin drill or water polo swim. All this to say swimming is not just about trying hard, it's about using a good technique to move yourself through the water as fast and efficiently as possible. And so it's quite possible that if you're just working harder and harder but not going any faster, 
you are trying too hard.